Welcome back to Redneck's Dirty Hands. I'm Pete, and today, episode seven, world's fastest golf cart. Let's go. All right, I got the uh, body shell back on there. Now we can kind of judge our clearance for uh, the throttle bodies and what's going to be a custom made uh, intake because that original intake is massive. It would be sticking way up here, which is no bueno. So I am going to have to strip that all apart and see if I can make it fit in the space I got. Right there, that's the monster of an air box that's on that thing. All I really want is these throttle bodies. I mean, this thing here, from the throttle bodies to the top, like, I don't know if that'll focus, but that's like a foot tall, which is no good. So I wanna peel just those guys off. This one, like I said in the last video there, it's got four injectors on the throttle bodies and then up and top up here, it's got four more. Um, they're half the CC that these uh, stock Apex ones are, so my hope and plan is to take those ones out, put these Apex ones in. Like I said, these ones here, the reason they're doing it, I guess, is they got the four in here, four up here. These are like 200 and something CCs each, whereas these ones are almost 500 CCs. So if I can eliminate the eight that are going off the stock bike setup and just replace it with the four that are double the CC, then we should be good. I only got to control four injectors instead of eight. And I can shrink this guy down, make it a little tight uh, plenum that'll fit in that golf cart and uh, be nice and clean install, hopefully. And uh, that way it doesn't have a big uh, camel hump sitting where the seat would be so I can keep it flush looking like a golf cart. So we'll get this guy stripped apart and see what we can do. a bit of a change of plans here I got the throttle bodies off the airbox there and uh, bolted them down onto the engine uh, I swapped out the injectors there when I opened up the airbox I noticed the way that it's held on here it just bolts down to the throttle bodies and it has these velocity stacks inside the airbox so what I did was took the uh, my air body saw and uh, Cut them right out of the bottom of that. It's kind of a weird setup though. It had those velocity stacks molded in there and then it had these like adjustable uh, stacks up on top. They were linked on and they are controlled by electric motor and they move up and down. And then this is the lid of the air box and these are the other four injectors that are mounted in the top. So they spray down on top of those adjustable velocity stacks and then it had these original uh, smaller injectors in the throttle body so these apex injectors that i'm just going to be running those for those are double the cc of those ones so hopefully it works out and then uh, probably what i'll do is i'll get some of that uh, maybe the frog skin uh that vent stuff for the snowmobiles and whatnot stop snow from going in your belly pan and all that I'll just glue those right on there and that'll be the filters for now. So I might have to figure out, I mean, they had the breather lines and all that hooked up to the original air box. I might have to figure out something for that, but at least this way I've got my fuel rail. I've got my injectors in there. I got the velocity stacks, kind of cool. Kind of looks like the same uh, setup as the little Formula 4 car, but uh, I'll make sure I put some sort of filter screen on there so we don't suck big chunks of dirt in there and whatnot. I might have to uh, figure out and eliminate. Uh, it's got this electric motor here that runs in the throttle bodies and it's kind of slow returning the uh, throttle. So I might have to gut that so it snaps back. You know, I don't know. This is all new to me. Uh, <laughs> some pretty fancy stuff going on here, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So I guess. I've got the throttle bodies mounted, so now I found, uh, got a fuel pump 
and uh, whatnot. I might try and use that, put that into the original golf uh, cart gas tank. Or if that won't work out, I'll just put an inline electric pump in and get the regulator set up. So we can carry on uh, rigging some more stuff up. It's been a pretty productive week. I got to spend quite a bit of time on this thing, so I got quite a bit done. We uh, mocked up. I got a, 
<laughs> it's not really a roll cage. It's a glorified uh, roof, you know. I didn't want a regular, you know, crappy standard uh, golf cart roof. So I made my own out of uh, uh, inch and a quarter aluminum tubing. Uh, it's not going to be rated as a roll bar. I mean, it's just <laughs> bolted in four spots. I mean, if you did roll that, I'm pretty sure that tubing would go through you quicker than Mexican food. So it's just a roof, you know, something with a little bit of style, hopefully. You know, I'm going to add a peak off the front of it there, and I'm going to frame in the bottom section there. And I got a spoiler I want to mount on the back side there. But, you know, hey, I needed to, wanted to get a roof figured out, needed to get a seat figured out so I could uh, come up with placement for the uh, shifter and then I picked up that handbrake off of Amazon there a uh, buddy of mine uh, brought me over some scrap aluminum so I used that piece of rail there drilled some holes in it just to extend the handle so works out good puts the handle right where you want her to be hop in there and grab that that's the Ken block drift a stick and then I'll rig up the shifter shifter will come out through the front I'll keep it just on the inside of that guy so we can grab some gears here, do some drifting right there. Uh, I got uh, cut apart uh, two sets of uh, pedals. So I've got my clutch, brake, and gas. I got to uh, do some uh, adjustments, make a plate to uh, bolt them all down, and obviously run the cables and the brake lines and all that jazz. But, you know, one step at a time. I made the... Uh, seat frame out of it tested out my carpentry skills and used uh, what we had laying around those were inch and a half uh, pickets for a deck or a railing or whatever i had to uh, make it and notch it uh, because the those velocity stacks on the breather i'm gonna get some vents on there but uh, they stick out i gotta trim that guy up a little bit because the body's gonna be moving that those aren't so i needed the clearance on that and this was uh, just an old foam uh, seat I had from uh, an old club car DS. I just ripped the foam out of there. I cut the uh, end handles off, made the wood frame. So I'll upholster uh, it. I got the uh, the backrest and the basket and the uh, club holders off that other donor uh, golf cart. That thing's been sitting in the back 40 for a few years, so she's pretty dirty. But I'm going to clean that up, and I got some seat covers for those coming. So yeah, we're getting there. And then uh, that's the spoiler. I want to kind of rig up off the back so it's sitting up kind of in line with the roof i mean we want it to be somewhat functional so we get some downforce on there and then uh, there's my simpson parachute we'll uh, mount that sucker make a bar probably coming off the back so it sticks out on a flat plate and have the parachute mounted back here uh we want to go fast and hey why not have a parachute on i think that'd be cool we don't know if it's gonna work i think that was for a junior dragster or something i don't know Maybe we'll get Launchpad to uh, strap it on his back and jump off the roof, see if she works. But uh, if we do, we'll definitely film that and show you. <laughs> so, I mean, we're getting there. I still got uh, got to rig up and put... I got that other fuel tank out of the other uh, golf cart. It's got a, uh electric fuel pump and everything in it because these golf carts are fuel injected. So I don't know if I'll be able to use that or I'll use the fuel pump out of the bike uh, gas tank, get that rigged up, and then... Get a battery strapped in over on this side. Then we can start uh, wiring this thing up. I needed to get it all together so I would know where I was going to mount the cluster, uh, running the wires, the handbrake, shifter, pedals. So now that I've got her all kind of mocked together, we can carry on and try and finalize some other things. But uh, that's kind of the gist of what it's going to look like. I think she looks sweet. Nice one. All right, well, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for tuning in and checking this one out. You know, I got quite a bit uh, accomplished on that. Hopefully, if I can spend as much time on it as I have been, we'll be ripping this thing soon. You know, there's still quite a bit to do, but, you know, spend some time on her, get her done. She's looking pretty good. I wasn't originally too keen on that design of the roof, but, I mean, the more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it that way. Maybe I won't, but... I just needed to mock something up so we knew for head clearance. I want to get a spoiler on there. Got to get a windshield because I was thinking if we are going to be going fast, I don't want bugs smacking me in the face and I don't want to wear a helmet all the time when I'm riding it. So, uh, yeah, we're just going that way. Now we can figure out uh, all the cables, 
throttle cables, electrical wiring. So the next couple episodes should be, maybe the next episode, I don't know, might be firing that sucker up and see if we can get her running and uh, get that uh, fuel tech uh, going on it. Might have to visit the boys at Antimassi to uh, get some tuning and whatnot set on that if we can't figure it out. But hey, who knows? Uh, YouTube, we'll just watch some videos maybe. I don't know. But uh, thanks for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And, uh, you know, turn the notification bell on, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, if you like that roof on there, or if you like how it's looking. I personally, it's growing on me. I think it looks pretty cool. So and it's, I'm going to add some more uh, design elements to that roof section. So, you know, hopefully it looks a little bit better. And, you know, we're going to get that thing all wrapped up. And it's going to be black and red, I think, is the theme. You know, kind of like our logo. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in and take her easy.